Good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office. Today is the 21st day of June, 2023. It is the first day of summer. We just had the solstice just a little bit ago. This is the morning briefing coming to you from the Home Office, where as I look out the window, it is a bright and sunny morning. It has been another cool morning. I just saw Truckee had dropped down into the 20s again this morning, uh, but it is going to be a terrific day. And as I'm going to show you here in just a little bit, I don't think it's too much of a stretch to say that right now in Northern California, well, probably even Central and even Southern California right now, we have the best weather in the country. I'm not using hyperbole here. I'll show you. I think we do have some of the best weather anywhere in the country going on right now. So with that in mind, let's see uh, what's, what's happening. I'm going to show you the satellite again, uh, as I often do to start with. And once again, there's a little wisp of smoke. See that little band right in there? It shows up pretty well in these early morning hours. This is also dropping down from, from Canada. We're also starting to see the marine layer reform a little bit. We haven't seen too much of that in the last 48 hours. But the marine layer is coming back and is likely going to be a bigger player in our weather as we head through the day on Thursday and Friday. See if I can widen out a little bit. Yeah, here we go. You can see the smoke's a little bit thicker up over Oregon. We just get this little wisp of it here. This is all dropping down from the north. We still have this big trough that is taking over the western states and that's bringing in some of the cooler air as well. And it's dragging down some of that smoke from fires going on up north. But it's just that thin, wispy smoke that is, I think you'll have to look carefully to see it, but it's, it's there. So let me show you what is happening across the rest of the country. So if you look at, at this map here, so this is how the, the country shapes up this morning. We have a lot of rain in the southeast. Man, areas like in Louisiana saw a lot of rain yesterday. Florida, we're going to see more thunderstorms today. In the Great Lakes, it is smoky and, uh, and we have relatively high humidity. Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, super hot. Temperatures over 100 in many areas. Uh, the Northeast is actually pretty nice. Uh, we have low humidity here, which isn't often the case during the summer months. For those of you who've lived back East, humidity is a big issue, uh, but eventually they're going to be seeing some rain there as well. We have thunderstorms in the plains. So if you go back here to the Western states, we have comfortable temperatures, we have low humidity, and we have you know zero chances of rain over the next uh, couple of days. So we're looking, we're looking really good. I do want to point out one other thing. I got to change the uh, perspective here because one of the things that we are going to keep an eye on for is the chance of uh, some Sierra showers over the next couple of days. But boy, I'll tell you, the models have been anything but consistent on this. So as we go through the day today, no chance of thunderstorms today. So today is going to be just another terrific day. It's really Thursday. And this is uh, this is uh, just a sign of the marine layer building. That isn't really actually rain. Might be some drizzle out there, but that would be about it. What we're looking for is this, this activity here. So this is uh, Thursday afternoon at five o'clock. Some rain here in uh, Lassen County, might be uh, a thunderstorm or two, and maybe something on the east side of the Sierra, let's say around, uh, well, Carson Pass and down toward Topaz Lake, maybe. And as you can see, that builds up. This is actually Thursday night as an indication of another little wave sliding through. That would be a thunderstorm. And again, that's over, um, Topaz Lake, that's south of Carson City, over on 395. It'd be nice if we get some lightning with that. For those of you that like to do lightning photography on the east side of the Sierra, I've seen some spectacular pictures online lately. Uh, very jealous. It might be some, uh, some lightning over the White Mountains. Uh, anyway, but you can see all that activity is on the east side of the Sierra. And then during the day Friday, Nothing going on. I think Saturday might have a better chance. This is Saturday afternoon at five o'clock. But like I said, the models kind of keep going back and forth on this. Um, I do think we're going to have a chance maybe again on Monday as well of getting some of that. But either way, the temperatures in our area are going to stay quite, uh, quite comfortable. We're looking for valley highs to be maybe in the middle 80s today, back down to the low 80s over the next few days. Average high is 90. So if you see let's say a high of 85 and a low of 54 or 55 with sunshine, light winds, and low humidity. That's pretty perfect for doing anything outdoors. That's why I say we, right now anyway, have uh, some of the best weather anywhere in the country. Just really easy living. The question is, how long is that going to last? How long can that last? 
So let me go to the GFS because we've been watching this and you know when we're in a, a kind of a stuck pattern like this, we got to look down the road and see when things might be changing. So here's our pattern right now, that deep trough. And as I mentioned, we have that flow from the north. So you have fires burning here in Western Canada and that flow comes down. However, that smoke gets diluted quite a bit by the time it comes our way. And actually, I think those fires are burning less intensely than they were a couple of weeks ago. All right, let's go forward in time. That baggy trough hangs around. Let's see, when is this? This is uh, Thursday morning. So with that next trough moving in, and that's why we may see the better chance of showers, a little bit more uh, lift going on as that low moves inland, maybe a little bit more moisture too. That one lifts out. This is Friday. I think Friday is going to turn out to be a pretty good looking day, although we may see a stronger marine influence on Friday, helping to keep temperatures down, and we may get some marine layer then as well. Tough to tell from a 500 millibar chart. Then we get into the day Saturday, and you can see this next little wave begins to roll in, and that's why we also might have the chance of some showers or thunderstorms then. And then on Monday, this is Monday, we still have this baggy trough around. But the thing I'm watching is this high down south. It's been kind of set up over Texas, which is why they're having all this heat. And when we get our heat is when that high is a little bit farther back to the west. So let's see how this is going to change because this trough is eventually going to be lifting out. This is next Tuesday. We still have that trough around. And this is next Wednesday. Now, again, so this is a, this is a week away. We have the high over Texas, so they're still getting hot. And we still have another day of comfortable temperatures. But as that low lifts out and we turn the calendar into the month of July, this is July 1st. Now, while the high is centered over Texas, the ridging starts to kind of shoulder its way into Arizona. And then beyond that, there's a weak little trough that goes by. And this is the second day of July. A big high, big broad um, area of high pressure extending out into the Pacific and all the way to Texas. That would mean heat in the south and give us the possibility of temperatures over 100 degrees, maybe sometime around the 4th or before the 4th of July, followed by another trough. The bottom line here is that for the next, for the next week, we are going to be seeing temperatures that we're going to be um, at and below average, very comfortable. We really don't have anything to worry about other than the chance of a Sierra shower or thunderstorm for the next week. So yeah, skating through this month of June without any real heat, um, we may see a, a chance of a 100 degree days around the beginning of July. But at this point, it also doesn't look as though it could be all that long lasting. However, also keep in mind that the models I just showed you that go out past 10 days, they're really not that reliable. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So what we are pretty sure of is a couple of things. One, we have the best weather in the country. Two. Uh, summer just started and we're off to a great start. And three, that the next five to seven days are going to be very, very comfortable and we don't have to worry about any heat. We don't have to worry about anything in the way of using the AC all the time and that sort of thing. So we're looking good. Uh, that's everything I've got for you this morning on this Wednesday morning weather briefing. I'll be on KCRA tonight at uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, and 11 with any uh, of the latest updates for you. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got. Looks like a beautiful day. Go out and enjoy it. Make it a great day. I'll talk to you later.